following presentation is for mature audiences only. Who are you? He's a fine man. All hell is broken loose. He's a great broadcaster. He's a very powerful guy. Absolutely brilliant. Feared by men, adored by women. He's a smart boy. It's patriotic. It's no big deal. It's the end of the world. I might as well tell you now. He's a monkey. And how you doing, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages? Welcome into another edition of The Wild Side with Eric Clark. I am your host, Eric Clark, saying thank you for taking time out of your day to hang out with us on the east side of Nashville. Make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel. Hit that notification button for the live stream. Smash the like button for the algorithm. If you have a band, song, or a video, something you want me to check out, get over to the Discord server. Left-hand side, YouTube reaction request. Read the pinned message. Drop a link, a brief description. I'll get to it when I can. All of our social media is linked down below as well, so if you want to help the channel grow, we have everything from Patreon to PayPal. Also, the social media, Twitter, Facebook, X, all of that is down there as well. Thank you to Connect 200 Music to see an Aunt Betty's Nut Butter. Today's Discord suggestion is coming from Capexi. Capexi. I hope I said that correct. They would like me to do more amorphous. So today we are back with amorphous, and the track we're checking out is called Brother and Sister. Let me know down below with everything I need to know about amorphous and the track Brother and Sister. Let's check it out on the wild side. There goes my Discord. really turn that off nah, no one cares the album queen of time okay
right. Big finish. Maybe. That is Amorphous, brother and sister, as suggested by Capexi. I really hope I said that correctly. So thank you very much for that suggestion. If you have a suggestion, get over to the Discord server. I like that track. That is a great progressive metal track right there. Um, it has all of the hallmarks of what I look for in a full, rich metal song. Metal song. Well layered, well constructed, theatrical, right? So one of the one of the great things about progressive metal is the storytelling, um, the lyrics, the the descriptions, the colors that are created with these lyrics with the music is really one of the finer aspects that I believe is overlooked by people outside of the metal world, people that don't like metal when they think of metal they don't understand how well metal songs are written how theatrical they can be and this is a great example of that amorphous does a really good job of blending those traditional tones with the modernity that they're bringing through their influence and you can hear that in that track because this right here um i'm, I'm getting this this collision of vibes these collisions of influence i always talk about having familiarity in a song and and being able to hook someone in with a sound that is familiar to them because that way, if you can get someone familiar, if you can get someone a familiar thread in, in your song, you're, you're talking about them dropping their guard now. Okay, so now they're not, they're not battling the unknown. They're not, and that's a fear. They're not like, oh, I, they're like, hey, I, I recognize part of this, so let me see where this goes and where they take it. And the two things that I was getting from this, um, and this is what brought the progressive metal to my mind, was like Emerson, Lake, and Palmer, and Queensryche. All right? With the doom, with Amorphous. Right? That new, that modernity that they're bringing in. And about these growls, I, I wrote it down, and I want to make sure that I, I point this out. Kids, that is how you do growls in metal. And what I mean by that is, okay, nobody wants to hear this, but sometimes I have to say it. If you do a four-minute song, how, how long is this track? Uh, six minutes. If you do a, a six-minute song and all you're singing in is this growling register, I'm telling you right now, it puts a ceiling on your exposure potential. It does, okay? Okay. But if you used properly, it just adds this impending doom. It's not doom metal. That's not what I'm saying. It, it allows you to be scared while also being okay with being scared. Because this is about measures. This, and I don't mean musical measures. I mean the song is layered. Each layer has an amount of that layer, right? The growls in this song are used perfectly. They're not too much. They're not done for, you know, show. They're, they're done for cause. They're done for effect, not for compensation, not for um, shock value. They're done for effect because what it does is it takes this darker, heavier tone of the growl, and then when you loop in and thread through his wonderful thick vocals it harmonizes that's the key it's not about the growl it's about harmonizing you know because people want harmony they want melody they want these things these certain basic sounds they look for this song is a great example of how to take dark deep rich impending colors and create harmony with them with an almost opposing force so very well done amorphous and i'll give credit to the drummer dude that guy ran like five miles in that song so well done and i have to say this about the keyboard there's a moment in the song i can't find it i didn't write it down you know my brain is filled with music um as is yours i'm sure it's a lot um, and sometimes I struggle to find where am I hearing that? Where am I hearing that? There's a, a lick. It's, it's, it's so subtle. 
it's just real subtle. It, it may be one full 32 count measure of this lick. It's a piano lick. And the piano lick is the way the progression of the, of the chords move. There's a song by Pete Townsend on the album Empty Glass. Or is it All the Best Cowboys Have Chinese Eyes? Nope, it's Empty Glass. And it's called And I Moved. It's a beautiful song. It really is a beautiful song. And what makes it so pop, what makes it pop so much in my head is that piano riff. And I heard it in the, I, I'm not saying that, that it is it. I'm, that's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying that the, the riff I heard was from this Pete Townsend song. What I'm trying to explain is how I make connections. And then those connections allow me to turn myself over to the music because I'm hearing familiarity in the song that's taking me to something that I enjoy already. So if I enjoyed Emerson, Lake and Palmer, Queensryche, P towns, and if I enjoyed all these progressive sounds, I'm going to enjoy this. If I just allow it to happen, if I just sit back and take it, <laughs> that's kind of what I'm trying to say. So thank you very much. Capexi for getting us back with amorphous. That is brother and sister. Let me know down below everything I need to know about amorphous, the album, your experiences. Tell me your stories. That's what the comment section is for. And you are my Sherpas on this new music mountain of mine, so I'm relying on you to guide me correctly. So thank you, Capexi, for that suggestion. If you like Capexi, I'm really trying to say it a lot so I get it right. Have a suggestion. <coughs> get over to the Discord server. Excuse me. Left-hand side, YouTube reaction request. Read the pinned message, please. Drop a link, a brief description. I will get to your suggestion when I can. Make sure you are subscribed to the YouTube channel. I feel like an evil villain sitting here like this. I just need my cat. Um, <laughs> make sure you're <coughs> excuse me, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Hit the notification button. Maybe if I do this, my Mr. Burns. Uh, hit the notification button for the live stream. Smash the like button for the algorithm. Make sure you're subscribed to all the social media. And if you would like to help the channel grow and contribute, we have everything down there. Oh, that's not good. From Patreon to PayPal. So again, thank you very much for taking time out of your busy day to hang out with us on the east side of Music City, USA. Make sure you're looking out for each other. Make sure you're looking out for your neighbor. Try to do at least one good thing a day. I am Eric Clark, and this is The Wild Side. <laughs>